So now that we have completed the floor plan, and when I say completed, I say up to the point of what you saw in the example. Don't forget, you still have to add windows and the steps on the deck. So it's time to print. We've printed before, but now we're going to introduce line weights. Before I print, what I always like to do is to zoom extent to make sure that there's nothing extra floating out there in my drawing. So I type Z enter and E enter. So that's the extent of my drawing. And then the next thing I like to do is type control S and that gives me a quick save. And then I'll proceed to print. To print my drawing, I can come up to the application button, click on it, hover where it says print, and then come over, click on plot. And if I do that, it opens the window. The other way I can do that is to come up here to my quick access toolbar and click on plot. And that opens the window. I can also type print and enter. Gets me right there. I can also type P-L-O-T, plot, and enter. And then the other way I can do this, which I have been using more of recently, is control P. Control S will save. Control P will open up this dialog box. So from here, I'm going to take this one step at a time. First of all, the printer that I'd like to select is going to be the AutoCAD PDF General Documentation Printer. So I pick that one. And then I'm going to keep an eye on the preview because it's going to be updating as I make changes. Next is the paper size. We are now going to change from this eight and a half by 11 sheet size. Let's go with the ANSI full bleed 17 by 11. What full bleed means is that it will push the drawing all the way to the edge of the sheet if needed. So I have my 11 by 17 sheet and you can see that listed or shown in my preview. For the plot area, extents. And this is why I wanted to zoom extents before I go into printing this out so that it captures the full extent of my drawing file, or at least I see the full extent. And then I know that it will plot to that area. So here for plot offset, I'm going to center the plot. And again, looking at the preview, it is updating. So far, so good. Now I'm going to come over to my plot scale, turn off fit to paper, because we are going to print to an architectural scale. I'm going to click on the drop down, and we are going to select quarter inch equals a foot. And when I select quarter inch equals a foot, you could see that it's showing me how it's going to fit on the 11 by 17 sheet. At this point, if you want, you can go ahead and apply to layout. At the very least, it's going to save these settings. Click apply to layout, and then I'm going to preview. Let this annotation scale information come up. Just simply click continue. And now you can see the drawing at the scale of a quarter inch on an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. But right now it is not using the proper line colors and it's also not using the proper line weights. So I still have to fix that. But I just wanted to check that it was going to fit on the sheet of paper based on the scale I selected. I trusted the preview, but I just wanted to double check. So I'm going to right click and exit and continue. The next thing I want to do is come over here to my plot style table. And right now I had none as my option. But if I come down here and I select something called monochrome, I'm then prompted if I want to assign this plot style table to all layouts. And the answer is yes for now. I may have made some changes to my monochrome plot style table. 
I'm going to double check that right now and see. So if I go to preview, I'll click continue here. Now it is printing all black. And then if I zoom in, I want you to see that it is giving me different line weights based on the colors that I'm using. And that's because I already went ahead and modified my monochrome plot style table. And I'll show you how to do this with yours. So I'm going to zoom out, right click, exit. And when you select monochrome, you're not going to have the settings that I have right now. So here's what you'll do. Click on the icon next to monochrome.ctb. And when you click on that, it's going to open the plot style table editor for this monochrome setting. Over here on the left-hand side are the colors that we're using in our drawing file. Color number one is red, color number two is yellow, and then we're also using color number five. By the way, I left the furniture in there as an example so that we can see the different line weights. All of the colors are listed here on the left. If I click on one of the colors, and I'll start with color number one, I'll come over to the properties on the right-hand side. It's already defaulting to a color of black, which is what I want. And then I come down here to the line weight. And what I'd like to do is change that line weight and click on the down arrow and select a line weight based on a thickness, and it is measured in millimeters. I'm going to change this now to 0.6. And then I'll click on color number two, which is yellow. And that line weight is set to 0.25. But for me right now, I'm going to click on that and set it to 0.3. And then color number five, which is on my drawing as well with the furniture, that line weight is set to 0 0.1 millimeters. I'll leave that alone. I'm not going to tell you exactly what settings to use because I want you to have some creative freedom here. But if you're not sure what line weights to use, go ahead and follow my example right now and know that perhaps it's going to change as we continue to create more drawings and when we get to printing out additional drawing files. So for now, I'll leave it at this. I'll go ahead and click save and close. If you don't want to make changes to this monochrome plot style table and you want to leave it in its original setting, you can come over here and click on save as. And if you do that, let me just click on that for a moment. You can go ahead and save this under a different file name. For example, you could say architecture 170 and that's gonna be your plot style table. It's up to you. I'm not telling you, you have to do it one way or another, but I am showing you the examples and what you could do. I'll leave it for now with this setting. I'm gonna cancel out and I'm going to go ahead and click save and close on this one. So I'll save and close. Those settings will apply to this drawing. And now when I click on preview, go ahead and continue on this. As a matter of fact, at this point, I've seen this message enough times that I can now go ahead and say, Always continue under these conditions, and that way the message will not pop up in the future. I'll click continue. And now as I look at it, you can see the line weights, the difference. When we print out floor plans, we always want to see the walls come in with a much heavier line weight to really show us the wall thickness. And then our doors and our windows and our fixtures, we want that to be a bit of a lighter line weight. And then in my example, you can see that the furniture here is coming in at an even lighter line weight. And I did something unique to this one, and I'll show that to you in just a second. What you're going to do is print out your drawing, set line weights accordingly, and I'll be able to see that in your examples. And that'll demonstrate that you know how to manipulate and edit a plot style table. I'm going to right click and exit. I want to show you what I did with the color blue here. Let me click exit. And from here, I like the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply to layout. And then for monochrome, I'll go back in to edit that 
plot style table. And then I'll click on color number five. And I want you to see something. The line weight is thin, but I also turned off what's called screening right here. And what it's doing is it's printing this at 50% of that black color, which means gray. So you have that option as well to do that. So that's how I'm controlling it. So I'll go ahead and click save and close, even though I didn't change anything. And then I'll preview one more time. Take you in so you can see how it's coming in. Grayscale. There's still more to add to this drawing. Obviously, you will not have furniture and that's okay. The goal right now is to simply complete the drawing file as it was presented to you. You do have to add the windows, you do have to add the steps, and eventually the furniture, but not yet. I'm ready to print. I'll go ahead and right click, select plot, and make sure that I place this in the appropriate folder. And then I come down here to the name and I remove the text that reads model. I just want this to match the name of my drawing file. So it's going to be first initial last name, and then it's going to be a PDF. So I'll go ahead and click save. My drawing has been printed. I can close out this message. And here is the drawing file. And it is on an 11 by 17 sheet. And I guess I should say 17 by 11. And it is printing out at a quarter inch scale. So that's what you will do. Print out the drawing as a PDF and save.